You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Yes, I've only gone and done it. I've got a thousand subscribers. It's been a long, arduous road, but I just wanted to make this rather self-indulgent video to thank all of you. And to show you some of the bonkers search terms I've discovered on my channel over the last year and a half. But this is still a food channel, so don't worry, I do have a recipe for you. It's not this fantastic Manchester tart though, that will be coming later, but I found a great use for the leftover vanilla pod after making the creme patissier for that lovely there custard tart. I'm going to make homemade vanilla sugar. But first, I have to give this leftover empty vanilla pod a good scrub in the bath. And there's no time for it to play with its rubber ducky or play with itself in there, because I have to get it out now and dry it off well with some kitchen paper. And now I'm going to put it on a plate and leave it in a cool, dark place for about 48 to 72 hours until it's all hard and brittle and dried out, just like this here. And this homemade vanilla sugar is a great way to get extra flavour out of your vanilla pods, and that's brilliant, really, because they cost an absolute fortune. So I've brought in a coffee grinder, and you can use a blender for this, of course. And I'm going to put my pod and 50 grams of sugar in my coffee grinder, I could put all of the sugar I'm going to use, plus my vanilla pod, in a blender like, but that will turn the sugar to powder, and that wouldn't be any good at all for a lot of bacon and biscuit recipes, and we want to make sure our vanilla sugar is roughly the same texture as normal sugar, so we can use it as normal sugar. So it's important to blend a small amount first to break the vanilla down into minute pieces. And that's blended well <laughs> to a powder there, as you can see. <coughs> And now that the dust has settled and my lungs have recovered, I'll give you a slightly out-of-focus close-up of the texture here. So, all we have to do now is to bring in 500 grams of normal sugar, or caster sugar, depending on your preference. And then we add the powdered vanilla sugar into the normal sugar, and stir the two together. And let me knock the lights down and give you a better idea of what this looks like from a different angle speckled with the black vanilla there. Pour that into a clean, dry, airtight jar. And that's it. Real homemade vanilla sugar, none of this artificial crap, whenever you want, and save a fortune on vanilla essence or vanilla extract or wherever, because they have your eyes out for that sort of stuff, you know. So anyway, now the recipe's out the way, let's dig into the crazy search terms I've found during my YouTube journey thus far. Someone on my ice cream video looking for William Green Southeast. If you're William Green from the Southeast, get in touch, mate. And somebody came to my Dalgona candy recipe from Squid Game asking, what's on Netflix? I don't know, mate, have a look on Netflix. YouTube decided in its wisdom that someone coming to view my excellent chicken pie recipe might find tips on hand washing. But far more disturbingly, someone thought they might find a Russian chef dying on TV after eating mushrooms in this video. I can assure you that nobody dies in any of my videos. I'm not too sure that my spaghetti aglio e olio recipe would be able to give you information on Teesside gangsters. I know a few like, but uh, they're not in this video. Some of them are in prison. And probably the one that made me laugh the most was on my World's Best Declares video, where someone wanted to know how to get their middle split. That sounds painful, but uh, I'm sure I could accommodate this request, as I am quite the cad. <laughs> I hope they were successful in finding a solution for their problem. Rose Bakery Feta Quiche now, and someone thinks that Donald Trump is the best thing since sliced bread. But lots of people speculate that due to his Adderall addiction, he really has a liquid ass. Some people want to say that he explodes in his own trousers quite regularly and wears nappies. But I don't know about that. I do wonder if it was the same person searching for both of those things, though, and inexplicably finding a sun-dried tomato and feta quiche recipe video. Chocolate macarons now, and I was in Paris for this video, where a load of pigeons ate some of my macarons, so naturally when someone searched for pigeons around the world, they found my video. Yorkshire macarons. What? Surely nothing strange from the date sugar video. Well, you would think so, but apparently someone thinks I can help them find out what happens when sugar container disappears from home. I literally have no idea how to answer that or why anyone would search for it on YouTube. Square English muffins, and this video should have a lot more views, I reckon. 
Lots of nonsense searches here. Cupcake a la lemon square. Yeah. I don't know. And what's this? Ways to shape croffins. What's a croffin? Oh, let me have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, apparently, it's a croissant baked like a muffin. Ooh, I might try that. Scottish lawn sausage through a bit of hilarity with floundering Dixon. Even Google couldn't help me with that one. So if you know where a floundering Dixon is, let me know. Answers on a postcard. Good old Teesside Fadgies, my favourite triangular bread. Although I was a little perplexed to find someone asking, can we buy sachet Tory sauce? Not on this channel, mate. Whatever it is. We don't have anything to do with Tories here. How to make Essex bread. Is Essex bread a thing? Does it come with Botox and two gangsters being murdered in a Range Rover in a farmer's field? Rolling Thunder Teesside. They're either asking for weather updates or they heard me farting after I got up this morning. Teesside Ted made me giggle for some reason. I, don't, I know it's only a spelling mistake. And I'm delighted that someone found my video after searching for wanky bread. Teesside Fadgies aren't wanky bread. I mean, I've made plenty of wanky bread on my channel, but Teesside Fadgies aren't wanky at all. Hotshot scones with chorizo and jalapenos. Oh, they're lovely these, like, but uh, what nonsense is this? Goes up conventions and a scone is what they do what they do. Eh? Carbonara two ways, where I pretend to be a Brexiteer in this video, and naturally someone has searched for Brexit recipes. Uh, I've got one for you. Hundreds of billions of pounds of misery and waste baked in the hearts and minds of the swindled for decades. Tastes very salty. Black Bean Burgers, another underwatched video. Good recipe, this one. Uh, but, um... Yeah. Um... Hmm... Uh, how to make black bean burgers not mushy? Well, it will definitely help you with that. Uh, the others, not so sure. Parmo, one of my favourite recipes and one you should definitely try. Not sure who bearded Mo is, though. Uh, apparently, Eric the Electric is a competitive eater. Uh, cloud eggs. I eat these all the time. Beautiful they are. My old flame Rita was featured in this video. And someone wants to know how to make Rita. How to make Rita do what? I think they meant how to make Raita. And finally, my first ever video, Winner's Garlic Sauce, where I talk about my naughty Nicola Sturgeon dream. So it's nice to see people finding that. All right, thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for your support over the last year and a half. Next stop, 10,000, and I hope you all make the journey with me. So I'll see you soon, everyone. Terra.